When you fall, you say I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and get up and keep going and you're going to see less and less because it is not about you. It is only about what Jesus did, only about what he did and your faith in it. And, and the fact that we're called to be hated under glory. That's what we're called to do. And you know what? We've been graced to do it. Jesus suffered horribly for us. He was made that for us. And he is rejoicing and, and advocating for us right now. And has never left. Because if you're in Christ, it don't belong to you. Their evil prophecies don't belong to you. Their evil prognostication don't belong to you. Their desolation, it doesn't belong to you. It's not for you. Their dark women, it's not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. Good day, beloved. Continuing on on this marathon of recording this day. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Apostle Chantrell Davis. Thank you for joining me on Preach Feel Voice Out of Echo Ministry. I'm continuing on um, with some dreams and visions uh, that I've been given, uh, as well as some prophetic messages. So I'm going to get right into this next vision that I had this vision on June 10th of this year, 2021. Um, and I just named it Hieroglyphics. Uh, uncovered pyramids in the USA. I feel they were in the USA. It looks like the USA to me. That's this is what I got in my spirit. And this son was half a half son, and I want to say a yin and yang. I don't. I'm not certain of the other half of it, but it's like a yin yang and this yin yang on this side, but a son. But that one that had a son raised. Like the the, the 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 spirit of dualism with the wavy and the you know, and it was on some pyramid that I still say there's some new pyramids found. I believe they were in the USA, deep deep deep. I believe they're in the USA, but they're going to be some uncovering of some pyramids. Uh, they look smaller, but they had hieroglyphics on them. Okay, uh, and let me read this uh, dream. Uh, brief the dream or uh, uh, scripture for you really quickly here. Uh, John 13 and 19, now I tell you before I come that when it comes to pass, you may believe that I am he. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Uh, Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mock the messengers of God and despise and despise his words until the wrath of the Lord arose until there was no remedy. Don't get to where there's no remedy. And again, that vision not only means dreams and vision, but it's to able to see afar off what's being seen, said, and what's being not said, what their plans and what their plots is through discerning and by way of the spirit, who is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of their heart and dividing the sun, even the joints and marrow and soul and the spirit, so you even know why they come, okay? Uh, 1 John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth us not. Okay, Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when they come to pass, and Lord will come to pass, you may know that a prophet has been among them. Uh, Job 33 and 14, it speaks about the Lord who seals your ears at night and seals your instruction. So you plead the blood of Jesus over your ears every night and rebuke every sound frequency and information sent forth by any spirit that is not of the kingdom of God. And even spirits and thoughts of your heart that would flood your ears out. You bind it and cast it out. You are sanctified holy by the word and by prayer and by the blood of Jesus. Okay. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet men perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumbers upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sendeth their instructions, that he may withdraw. Why? That he may withdraw him from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. This is why he does this. He gives you your instruction every night. So you use that scripture every night for the Lord to seal you with the instructions that he gave and rebuke every dream, vision, form of information and frequency that is contrary to the Lord sealing your ears with his word and his holy voice uh, in the name of Jesus. Okay? Malachi 3 and 7 states, return unto me and I will return unto you. You read that on your own time. It will be in the scripture. The scripture uh, information line. Acts 13, Acts 13 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted, uh, that when the times of repression come, your sin may be blotted out, okay, uh, 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 from the repression of the presence of the Lord. Behold, he, oh goodness, from the presence of the Lord, Lord have mercy, repression from the presence of the Lord. Let, let me keep going. Behold, he comes quickly. This is Revelation 16 and 15. 
And I'm warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. You can read that on your own time. I'm warning you for the, your blood would not be required at, uh, at my hand for the sword is indeed coming up on this land. And I'm warning the righteous according to Ezekiel 33. I mean, Ezekiel 30 and 20. And he's basically speaking to her that, and his righteousness, that, 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 as a righteous, uh, I'm going to read that because y'all people that's righteous don't think y'all can fall. Again, when a righteous man do it to turn, if you turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, that means you stay in sin. You turn from righteousness and you sit in iniquity. That's perpetual sin. And I lay a stumbling block before him. God said, he's going to lay one before you. He shall die because thou hast not given him warning. But he shall die in his own sin, and his righteousness, which he hath done, the righteousness which you have done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at your hands. So I'm a born in a righteous, that you and your double-mindedness and lining up with this world and this administration and everything that's going on, turn, repent. Okay, Matthew 10, 27, what I tell you in darkness, speak in light, and what you hear in the air, preach from the housetops, I'm doing that. And we know Acts 2, 17 through 18 speaks about the point out of his spirit, and that the sons and daughters will dream dreams and, and visions, and they will prophesy. This last dream I had here on uh, June 10, 21, I just told you how I I believe it was in the USA. The, some of the surroundings look like USA, but I haven't been so many places in the world. Uh, that I can recognize, but I do recognize America quite a bit, but I know there's places in the world that I have yet to be that I might not recognize, okay? Uh, but in my spirit, I really felt it was in the USA. Um, and so that I'm not 100% saying, thus says the Lord on, but I'm reporting this vision. I've learned to just record the vision when you don't you understand. Because when I recorded the one about the man being shot and they thought he was going to die and then he was paralyzed and it specifically happened just like that. You, that's very specific. But I had to report and that's, I only give what I saw. And I rebuke every dream that is not of the Lord and not from his spirit. And that's out of my own heart. But I move forth on the things that I feel um that I've been laid on. And this one here, it, it was very short and to the point. I was looking on as I couldn't be seen. And I was being moved about this place. And I saw archaeological people. And you know how they got the little dust and brushes. And, and it was a lot of work going on behind it. Almost like it was a city. Because I saw the pyramids. But the pyramids were not the only thing that was sweeping up. But these pyramids didn't look like normal pyramids. And not unless they were only at the top of them. You don't have they only at the top and you got the corner, you got to dig your way down to uncover. I don't know if that was the fullness of it because I did not see the triangle part at the bottom, like this part. I could see this top going down and a man was standing there and the top of the pyramid looked like it was about right here to him. And so maybe they were still underneath it and you know they have to slow these people around it. But there was other stuff being swept up. And they were dusting it off and some of the little chunky parts of dust and they was brushing it. And they had brushed down this one part and I could clearly see it looked like a sun with the dualism wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy, straight. This side, I, I will pray about it, but I'm almost sure it was like, like the yin and the yin and yang. You, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. The yin yang, the yin yang where it got black and white. But this side had the sun. It was a circle on this pyramid. It was other hieroglyphics. But I had a circle with the little... And then this side didn't have the, it was a half, but it looked like a squirrely yin thing. And on this side, the yang, but it was sun. And that's what I saw in it. And I've been looking for that thing. And I'm going to look because I haven't had time to just look thoroughly because I'm doing just that much. Um, and this is the kind of things I'm going to have help us for because I got a lot of fulfilled videos on uh, uh, World of Rock that I, I, I don't mind them doing slides, but it would be easier if they were, you know, bold enough to record the videos and show where it came to pass. And I've had a lot of stuff come to pass. And, and some of this stuff is just triggers to big things because a lot of the things that the Lord has given me, uh, it, it's going to be a lot of injury and death in. And so I know the Lord is merciful. He's not willing for any to perish. So some of these things that people are being given time because I've had simple stuff that come to pass quick. I've had little destructions come to pass quick, but they've been some very big ones he's shown me. And I know that's not but the mercy of God that is staying the hand of some of that. And people praying and crying out because the Lord is not willing for any to perish. I don't have to ask him that. His word says he's not willing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So the Lord is merciful. But when it seems like the longer he would stay his judgment, they think they're getting away with it. People keep lying on you. People keep gossiping. Keep, people keep doing all kind of stuff because they think they've gotten away with it. When the Lord is just giving them time. So when the judgment does hit them and they're crying out, you're not going to be heard at that point. So I want you to take this vision before the Lord. And if any of you know about Egyptian symbols and all that, uh, be looking and paying attention to clippings in the news to see if any new city 
is found uh, in the United States or anywhere. But it was like a new archaeological dig was discovered. And this is one of the hieroglyphics that I saw on the front of what looked to be a capstone. It looked to be a capstone of a pyramid. It don't look like it was a full pyramid. And I see it looked like small pyramids because it was coming right here to the man. But I, I don't know if it was the, to a cornerstone of one that was bigger. Because they were still clean, brushing and uh, excavating the city. Or, or maybe it's just a little, some vessels. I don't know if it was city or vessel. But there were some Egyptian, uh, Egyptian, what's the word I have to call it? Uh, archaeological find. And that was what I saw on it. Now, this is a trigger to other things the Lord has shown me with these dreams and visions and other revelation words he's given me. Only he knows. But what I'm doing is reporting what I saw uh, as a seer of the Lord and, uh, and, and asking him for more wisdom and revelation. For the body can sometimes work as one. And if the Lord gives me more revelation on it, if you see anything or anything has been reported or uh, come up about this, uh, uh, please share the links uh, and share the, feel free to share the link and the video. I give you the ability to do that. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, grace be with you, beloved, and I love you all. Did you know that when you hit thumbs up, you enable more to be fed by the very message that just fed you? So share the spiritual meal. Feed others. Work a righteous work. Worketh evangelism by working the thumb. Thumbs up, feed more. Thumbs up, feed more. So into the good ground of preach be a voice not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Of the word of God. 1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.